in this following video, if you are struggling to choose between a Bullicuda, also known as the Beast from the East and a Central Asian Shepherd, also known as an Alibi, we have compiled all the detailed information you need to know to help you make the best choice. So let's begin the fight. Intimidation Factor A Bullicuda has a fearsome reputation, one that is well deserved. An adult male Bullicuda stands at an impressive height of 28 to 36 inches at the withers, and weighs between 70 to 90 kilograms. They are enormous, aggressive and dangerous fighting dogs. They are popular amongst young men who want to project a macho image, whereas an adult male alibi stands at an impressive height of 28 to 30 inches at the withers, and weighs between 55 to 80 kilograms. They are massive, muscular, powerful looking dogs that boast having large heads. This breed is known for its capacity to not only survive but thrive in some of the harshest environments found anywhere on earth. However, in terms of intimidation, the bully Kuda have got all the hallmarks of an intimidating breed as compared to an alibi. So one point to bully Kuda. Bully Kuda 1 Alibi 0 Powerful and loudest bark. Let's hear it first and we'll decide accordingly. <laughs> In our opinion an alibi has a powerful bark. So 1.2 Alibi Bully Kuta 1 Alibi 1 Bite Force In case of both the dogs, we didn't have any information with respect to their bite force. However in our opinion, considering the dog breeds with similar cranial dimensions, we estimate it could be in between 500 to 700 psi. But with no concrete data available to compare, one point to both. Bully Kuda 2 Alibi 2 Temperament Both the dogs are known to be reliable, trustworthy, loyal and they form strong bonds with their families becoming totally devoted to them. They can be a dangerous breed if not controlled and raised right. They need a strong willed owner whom they can respect, otherwise they can be dominating and very territorial. So one point to both. Bully Kuda 3 Alibi 3 Lifespan The average life expectancy of a Bully Kuda is in between 8 to 10 years and that of an Alibi is in between 12 to 15 years. So 1.2 Alibi Bully Kuda 3 Alibi 4 Exercise and Energy Levels Both the breeds are high maintenance dogs in the exercise department and ideally need to be taken out for a walk, a minimum of twice a day for a good hour each time. However in our opinion, both the dogs have similar energy levels. So one point to both. Bully Kuda 4 Alibi 5 Grooming An alibi can either boast a tight, short and smooth coat or a long one. Whereas a Bully Kuda boasts having a short, dense and glossy coat which makes them low maintenance on the grooming front. So one point to Bully Kuda. Bully Kuda 5 Alibi 5 Kid Friendly Both the breeds are known to be good around children of all ages because they are so calm and patient, more especially if they are well bred even tempered dogs. As such they are not recommended for toddlers because of their great size. So one point to both. Bully Kuda, 6 Alibi 6. Temperament with other dogs and pets. Both the dogs can show aggression towards other dogs and pets which is why it's important they be introduced to each other slowly and carefully to make sure things go smoothly. So one point to both. Bully Kuda 7 Alibi 7 Weather Tolerance An alibi adapts well to a harsher climate as compared to a Bully Kuda. So 1.2 Alibi Bully Kuda 7 Alibi 8 Powerful Guard Dog Both the dogs are a fierce protector of its family and property. However in our opinion, when it comes to assessment as a powerful guard dog, an alibi is more powerful than a Bully Kuda. So 1.2 Alibi Bully Kuda 7 Alibi 9 so the winner between the two big guard dogs is an alibi. 